Alistair Corsi here. Now, preparations, you have to download the Excel spreadsheet, links below the video. Your Minecraft world should have cheats turned on. And you should also know how to work from your Minecraft world to Excel and back again. So once you know all these things and have these things ready, off we go. How it works. Here's a block that we're wanting to clone. Suppose we want to put a block like this to the right of where it is. Then you'd stand at the bottom left-hand corner there. You would determine which way you're facing, in this case south. I'll show you how to do that. And then three numbers are required. The width. Remember, that's from where you're facing. The width in terms of blocks, the height, and the depth. So three numbers and your direction you're facing in. So you come back to your spreadsheet, put in the three numbers, the width, the height, the depth, go to the facing south section, and your first clone command, if you highlight that, copy it, Take it back to your Minecraft world, execute that, that block will appear in the right. If you then go back and copy the second clone command and execute it in the game, you'll get four. And then the next line gives you eight and sixteen and so on. So let's get going with this. Here's the structure we want to clone. And I'm going to work out its dimensions. However, first of all, where's the light coming from? Well, I've put sea lanterns beneath the carpet. You can see that. So if I want that light to work, I'm going to have to clone one block below the floor level. So I'll dig a trench where I have to stand because I have to be standing at the bottom, opposite the bottom block. And let's work out the dimensions. So the width, first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. The height next, and remember there's one block below the floor level, so that's one, two, three, four, five, also six for the height. And then finally the depth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight blocks for the depth. So we need to get down into that trench and stand opposite the bottom left block. Oh, that was unintended destruction. But here I am, down in the trench opposite this block. Now we press F3. So information we need from this, we're facing south. We're standing on the block 198. 67 negative 163 and we're targeting the block over on the right there you'll see it 19867 these numbers are the same and we're at negative 161 that's a difference of two so we're standing two blocks back see if i step back one you notice there's a difference of three now between the negative 161 and one, negative 164 if i step forward let's do that there you go, and there's a difference of two. That's as it should be. So we're ready to go to our spreadsheet. And put in the various numbers. So the width was six, the height was six, and the depth, we remember it was eight. And since we're facing south, we go down to that part of the spreadsheet. and highlight the first clone command and copy it. Back to the game. Forward slash. And then paste. And then when we return, there's a cloning of one of the blocks. Now let's do that again. Let's go back. We'll highlight the second line, copy it, return to our game, 
forward slash paste and execute that and success, we've successfully cloned 576 blocks let's go up and have a look at what we've done now and there it is a lovely structure Now you may have noticed these decorations don't clone, that's because they're entities, not blo- oh, shh. God, that was close. Right, let's go back up. Uh, you'll notice the decorations have not been cloned, that's because they're entities, not blocks. All these blocks have been cloned, but not the decorations they don't get cloned so let's go so let's go to daytime and we'll do another cloning this time from a different direction we'll clone the structure that we've already got here so that's the outline cuboid and we'll face in a different direction we'll stand there that's one block below the ground level and we'll be facing east so what used to be the depth is now going to be the width and we cloned a depth of 8, 4 eighths are 32, so our new width will be 32, the height's the same, 6 blocks and what used to be the width is now the depth and it's still 6 blocks. So these are the new numbers that we have to put into the spreadsheet. And once we execute that copied first clone command, that's what we'll be cloning. So let's get going with that and let's land beside the structure and we can stand in the correct place. So down we go into the trench and let's check the information we've got by pressing F3. So there we are, we are facing east, as you can see in the left there. We're standing on that block 19167 negative 161. We've targeted 19367 negative 161. Remember, two numbers are the same and the other numbers have to differ by two. So we're standing two blocks back. We're in the right place. So let's now go to the spreadsheet and enter the new data. So there we go. The width this time. Let's home in on that. Width is 32, height 6, and the depth is 6. And we were facing east, so we have to go to that section of the spreadsheet. There it is down at the bottom. And highlight the first clone command and copy. And let's go back to the game now that we've got the clone command. Remember forward slash to get the box up at the bottom and paste and then return to execute that. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. We'll copy the second clone command. Go back to the game. Forward slash, paste and return. One more time. Back to the spreadsheet. Copy the third clone command back to the game, forward slash, paste and return. So let's now have a look at what we've done. And there it is, large structure now. Here's the original and here's eight copies of it. Oh, what 
is it with these tigers? Broad daylight too. Oh. Fortunately, they don't seem to notice us so we can run out of here and do a bit of flying. Look at what we've built. There we go. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and hope you enjoyed the video.